guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to film today's video. I feel like I say that all the time, but this has become one of my favorite series on my channel and this is going to be another Accutane update. Now the last one that I had was my one week update and this is gonna be my one month update. I can't believe that I've been on Accutane for one month. It feels like I just went to the doctor and got it yesterday. But uh, yeah guys, it has been one full month on Accutane. I have a lot to update you guys on. And if you guys ever miss or skipped accidentally one of my last updates, I'm actually going to put all of them on a playlist and put all of that down below as well as how I cover up my acne and all of that. Any acne related videos, they're all going to be down below. So make sure to, to make sure. What am I saying? Make sure to check out the description box after you watch this video and give me one second you guys I have a door open right there and there's way too much noise outside So I'm gonna have to close that all right guys So sorry about that So now let's jump into the update because I have so many things to tell you guys about now when I updated you guys last My one week on Accutane. I was so 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 happy because my skin cleared up amazingly within a one week span. I was so shocked. I was like, oh my God, if this is how the medicine is gonna work in one week, I can imagine what six months down the line what my skin is gonna look like. And then a lot of you guys actually told me down below in the comments, they're like, whoa, girl, slow down. I've been on this medication, don't jump the gun. Right now, you have amazing results the first week, but you are gonna have that purging period. And I was like, no, I feel like I'm one of the really lucky people that really don't experience the purge. I think my doctor told me that around 30% um, of people experience the, the purge, where like all the pimples come out and you have that really bad period where you have to go through of your skin really freaking out before you can get to the clear skin. So my doctor told me 30%, so I'm like, okay, then I guess the majority of people don't purge, but that's not what I saw in the comments. Almost, <laughs> I wanna say almost every single person that I know personally that has been on Accutane did go through that purging period. And lo and behold, I did not get to skip out on it. So for my first month on Accutane, with the exception of the first week, I did purge like crazy. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys pictures and video, actually in the beginning I probably put the pictures and now I'm gonna show you guys video footage of what my skin looks like right now. This is actually footage that was taken this morning before I got ready and you guys can see that my skin is definitely not as clear as it was the first week on Accutane, which makes me very sad, but it's okay because it's still not anywhere near as bad as when I first started Accutane or before I started Accutane, I should say. So the breakouts that I have now are very, very different than the breakouts that I had before starting Accutane. And that's because, and I hate saying this, before I had more of a problem with whiteheads and these breakouts are very cystic and painful and they don't come to a head and they last a really, really long time. So it sucks. The first month on Accutane has been tough because, you know, I still don't feel confident in my skin and I've had to put on a lot of makeup to cover it up. Um, as you guys can see now, I have everything covered up. I will have my foundation routine linked down below, which is like my savior. I'm still not comfortable to go out to the store or basically leave my house without makeup on. Um, I still have a lot of hyperpigmentation, a lot of redness, but with that being said, it's again, it's not anywhere near as bad as it was before. So it's, it's something I can deal with. Sadly, also after the first week, my body acne did return. I had the breakouts again on my chest and really bad on my back, which is something that bothers me so bad because the breakouts on the back are really, really painful. So I had that and now we are finally at the very end of the first month, actually today. Today makes exactly one month since I've been on the medication and I'm starting to see clearance again this last week with my chest, with my face, which, with my back. So I'm really happy because I kind of went through that purging period. I feel like everything had to come out and now it's starting to calm down again. So I'm hoping and praying that the purging is done. If that's the worst that it was gonna get, it's definitely something that I could deal with. And now it's over and I'm starting to see my skin clear up again. So fingers are crossed and I will let you guys know in my next update if it continues to clear or if I'm wrong and there's more purging that's gonna come out, which I really, really hope is not gonna be the case. All right, so now that that is out of the way, the way that I think that I wanna to continue to do these videos is in the beginning, I wanna give you a little bit of a skin update and show you pictures and video and all of that. And then the second half of the video, I wanna talk about the symptoms or any problems or basically my experience on the medication. So let me know if you guys like that setup or if you don't want to hear about the symptoms, the side effects, any of that. If you just want to hear about the skin, let me know if you guys like the way that I am running it today. And I actually wrote down
down everything here on my notepad because I didn't want to forget anything. I actually wrote them down like throughout the month while I was experiencing them because I knew I was going to do this video. So number one that I put with stars all around it, the number one biggest annoyance sy symptom was the um, dry lips and cold sores. Now I'm actually going to put a picture here now. I took this picture one night when I was just like, oh my god. I could not believe how dry and flaky and irritated and cracked and disgusting my lips were. It was so, so painful. I'm telling you guys, when they say dry lips, I'm like, yeah, I can deal with dry lips. It's not that serious. No, it's not just regular dry lips. They are like inflamed and so, so painful. Like they burn so, so bad and cold sores. I've never experienced cold sores in my life. I had a huge one on the left hand side when I took that picture it was basically almost done healing. I had a huge cold sore for about I want to say seven to eight days and it was so painful and it peeled and then it started bleeding and it was disgusting and I don't know why the medicine causes that but um so I did deal with that and the reason that I said that I dealt with that in the past or dealt with that is because you guys recommended and I'm, oh, I'm sitting on it it's right here behind me on my chair the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Oh my God, you guys. This has cut down the whole dry lips situation for, by 50% at least. If you are on Accutane and you are dealing and suffering with those dry, irritated, burning lips, I'm telling you to please go to Sephora and get the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today, alone with nothing underneath it. I actually like the way that it looks. I apply this every single day. Um, about three times a day and then I sleep with it on my lips every single night and a lot of you guys don't know that you can actually ask for samples at Sephora that is how I found out about this stuff like I went there I asked for a sample and within two days I was like I need to buy it I think it was around $30 and it seriously cut down the symptoms to that by at least 50% so I got the dry lip situation under control now I'm gonna talk about the next symptom that I suffered with and that is the dry skin and I really thought that I was gonna skip the dry skin I don't know why I thought that a lot of people said that first they have the dry skin and then they have the dry lips but since I had the dry lips immediately I was like okay I'm probably gonna skip the dry skin no within the I would say second week the dry skin really hit it wasn't really that much of a big deal it didn't flake too much my moisturizer did help camouflage it um, but the only thing is my skin also started burning really really bad I will pop up a picture of the moisturizer that I'm using it's the one that acne.org has I love that moisturizer I've been using it for so so many years with absolutely no problems but now it just really started burning I've also tried Cetaphil and CeraVe and for some reason when I put those on even though they're really gentle formulas they break my skin out even more so that doesn't happen with the acne.org moisturizer all three of them burn me but it's just something that I'm just putting up with I guess your skin is just really really sensitive and gets really really thin while you're on Accutane so the burning skin is definitely another symptom that I had this month Number three is nosebleeds. I've never had nosebleeds in my life. I have had two this month. Nothing all that serious, but yeah, I had two nosebleeds. It is a symptom of Accutane and something that I wanted to mention to you guys. And the last symptom, which is hand down the most horrible symptom that I have experienced throughout this entire month is the intense body aches. I don't mean to be complaining about the medication, you guys. I know a lot of you are going to say, well, why are you on this medication if there's so many side effects? It's definitely hands down worth it to me, and I will put up with all of these symptoms and more for six months if I have to. My doctor said that the first month is always the hardest, but I just wanted to be completely 100% honest with you guys in this video that it has not been an easy 30 days so far, but the body aches are... Oh my god, on another level. I actually, you guys can see, have a brace on right now. Not looking all that cute. This is a back brace to kind of support my lower back because the muscle aches is, is just insane. Now, when you lose um, the oil glands, like it, they don't produce that much oil. So they also... Um, I don't know why I can't put, the, put this into words. But basically, the joints don't have that lubrication. <clears throat> so like your knees, your elbows... All of your vertebrae, every single bone, it doesn't have the lubrication in between the joints and it makes your bones and your muscles hurt so, so bad. So it's been really tough. It's like a constant pain. I feel like an old lady, but 
yeah, that definitely would have to be my number one most painful and annoying symptom. I also want to mention that the anxiety and depression and anger that I was experiencing within the first week have gone away, thank God, because I really felt like I was not in control of my emotions at all. I don't have that symptom anymore. It was short-lived. I really felt like angry and just depressed and anxiety about, anxiety about anything and everything, but that was just the first week and now, thank God that symptom is gone. And I also wanted to mention, because a lot of you guys asked me in my last update what I'm using on my skin now, I am gonna come out with a skincare routine while on Accutane, but right now it's very, very simple. I'm doing only what my doctor told me, which is just wash my face and moisturize. To wash my face, I'm using the acne.org cleanser and to moisturize, again, I'm using the acne.org moisturizer and that's it, I'm not using anything else on my face no acne medications, no spot treatments, no toners, nothing at all, just those two things. And then I put the lip agave mask on my lips at night and that's it. The doctor did also up me on my last visit um, from 60 milligrams a day to 80 milligrams a day. It is an extremely high dosage, especially for someone my height and weight, but um, especially the way that I still had the back acne and the chest acne. The doctor said that if I upped my dosage, the chances of my results being long term even after I finish the medication would be a lot higher than if I stayed at a lower dose. So he's like, look, Lee, do you really want a chance having to go on this medication for a second round or would you rather be on a pretty high dosage for someone your size but you'll be more guaranteed, of course it's not 100% guaranteed, but the chances are more likely to be long term, the results, I mean, um, if you're on a higher dosage. So I said, all right, I'm gonna go on the higher dosage. Obviously the um, side effects would be 20% worse because I'm going 20% higher, but it is something that I'm willing to put up with. I feel like I just need to be a trooper through this, get through it, six months by fall time I'll be done, and it will basically benefit me the rest of my life. So. Here we go. <laughs> Last thing that I want to mention is the oil breakthrough. A lot of you guys commented on my last update that it's amazing after you finish the first month that there is like no oil on your face at all. I 100% agree with that. There is no type of shine on my face. And here in New York, we've been having like 80 degree weather. And it's amazing because my foundation will look the same at the end of the day as it did in the beginning. There is no shine, no oil, no patchiness. My makeup just stays like on point, which is amazing and then also the hair. There is no oil breakthrough in your scalp, so you really don't have to wash your hair. There is no type of oil, and I have the most oiliest limp hair, and it's amazing to not have that oil breakthrough that weighs your hair down. So those are two cool side effects that I really don't mind. And that is actually everything that I wanted to mention in this month's update. If you guys like these videos, just thumbs them up. The next one will be my two month update and hopefully we'll see a lot more clearance by then. I know I have to be patient. The doctor did tell me that most people see amazing results at the end of three to four months. So I know I have to be patient. It's just that I kind of got a glimpse during that first week of how amazing my skin could look and I got so excited and now it's like, no, wait, hold up. You still gotta go through that purging period. We're not good just yet. So I'm gonna stick through it. It's worth it to me. I know that there's kind of mixed reviews out there. It's a highly controversial medication because of the side effects and all of that. But I feel like being on Accutane is only something that you could understand if you've suffered through acne yourself and you know what it feels like to just not be confident in your own skin at all. And my acne was really taking over my life. It was a severe, severe case and it was putting me in a depression. I didn't wanna leave my house. I didn't wanna live my life. I didn't want this gorgeous weather because I just wanted to, to cover up. So um, already I see the medication working and it's, it has me in such a good mood. I'm so excited to see the results at the end and I'm really excited that you guys are on this journey with me. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in my next update. Mwah. Bye.